So wouldn't it be nice if we can have a logical internet that can we can have many uh, internets on the same physical internet on the link that we many different logical networks on the uh, sorry to interrupt, but uh, slides are not changing in Zoom. No, screen is not changing. Screen is not changing here. The networks that we built, they were built on entities. Maybe you've got to pay this is an equipment, a network of a network of entities and architecture. You find an architecture and then you uh, operate that architecture with different entities and different things. So that's how we use So now we are trying to build a network of capabilities that is really driven architecture. What we can do, service driven Similarly, a network of connectivity model. The goal has been to build uh, a pipe, a pipe that carries bits of pipes from one place to another, another place. But the trend is towards uh, building a network for service. Don't worry about what's happening at least. At least somebody has a job. And similarly, uh, there needs to be very specialized networks that will be built for different projects. If you wanted to build uh, a network for the government, the government will build this network because you want to have their own. But the trend is to have one shared infrastructure and very different networks of government. We have So these are the trends in the industry. That's the movement is happening. And uh, to achieve agility, flexibility, efficiency, availability, and economy of the state. Uh, and 5G and beyond 5G would enable with this change in uh, uh, direction, techno, social, economic impact. And each word has a big meaning. If you look from the service providers point of view, the point of here are the mobile operators uh, and who's even is building the infrastructure uh, and who and the So, techno requirements and technical requirements for the village to be from anywhere, how the bandwidth can should have be allocated for these TD types of uh, uh, application services that are coming. Uh, so, there are technical requirements mostly from the quality service. Social is because we want to be able to make uh, uh, connectivity available to everyone. So, these are digital devices. We want to make it cheaper. So, social requirements are in that. Easy to use and so on and so forth. And economic requirements because if a mobile operator or a different operator can build many different logical networks, then they can price it differently. Right now, if uh, somebody works for Tata, Tata company or their employees there, they uh, they get the same data packages as as the human being get as a consumer. So their data packages, are, so their pricing is the same. Our types of users, whether they are in the industry or in the consumer, market. but if we can separate it out, that there is a there is an internet only for consumers with the internet. One for the hospitals, there is another one for the transport industry, there is another one for education, then they can try another one for manufacturing. Then the bio operator or the techno operator can try some different. So, uh, because a lot of the companies these days depend on internet, availability, reliability. So, there is a great economic reason to, uh, to make this uh, network sizing hard. As we go to 5G and non uh, 5G. So, network sizing was around even in 4G, also with the LTE, but it did not include the radio part. The radio access card part was not even into it. Only the core network part was uh, being considered for network sizing. But with 5G, it is going all the way where the your antennas or the base station is. So this is the difference between 4G and 5G.
Okay, so what is network site? You probably got the idea of this very quickly. So network as a service, as a service. So we provide a network site as a service. This is the whole idea. So there are several definitions of the network size, that's it. But the GDPP and GSLA, they define it as follows. The network size is a logical network that provides specific network capabilities and network capabilities. So if I have a mobile phone, a smartphone, my application, or if I'm running many different applications on my smartphone, which we do today, the mobile we are running, Google uh, Map, Okay. So different kind of communications at the same time can use different sided communications. So, uh, so there is a disability there. It's not that you only use one side at a time, you can use multiple sizes at the same time. So that's a problem. So the difference between TGPP, GFL, and IPU. ITU is the International Telecommunication Union, which is based in Denver, and their goals is uh, define the requirements. They define the requirements of the next generation of the networks. And the uh, GDP is the one who is developing standards, which may take five, ten, fifteen years. They are the one who go, uh, the GDP is the one which goes into asset goals. How to build it, what the specifications are, what the data structures are, all that green which is that is that kind of what we done by GGP. Uh, by so uh, uh, there is no need to go into this thing. Uh, however, uh, this is a network size typically span across multiple network domains. And multiple network domains are the operators in the network. You have a passport network, you have a phone network. So the site need to run across all of these network domains. Also, it should run across multiple operators. Because you may be connecting with uh, the network that is being uh, authorized you, but the other entity can clear that or some other problem. So, so the network sites needs to work across multiple operators at the same time, which is what this is okay. So the point here is that if we have a number of capabilities in the radio taxes, a number of capabilities that we can provide the whole network, and if we do this and match, then infinite number of operations of this basket. And to exercise it, which is not possible to do from an engineering point of view. So what these standards bodies have done is that they are defining these templates. They have a template. So there are a number of fixed templates that have been defined so that people build the sizing on the uh, for those templates that the uh, sliding will run from end to end. Otherwise, they will not match. You cannot have a, have, you cannot have a system whereby some hyper highway has two layers and another one has four, four layers and another one has eight and there's this small values are there. Because I will all then let's keep the sort of the same thing will happen in network sizing as well. So that is an important uh, So there are two important concepts. I'm sure we are the head of that one. They are called network function virtualization and SPF. Network function virtualization is that all of these network functions like routing, firewalls, three packet instructors, all those things need to be. Hardware devices that are being sold by Cartman, Cisco, and Juniper, and so on and so forth, they make, they make tons of that. But now the, uh, the idea is that rather than having these hardware pieces of equipment in the network, why can't we have a software running on it? And it has become possible because of the number of systems in the network chain, and their support. Actually, the computing power has grown exponentially. So, you can get the same level of performance as you would get in a country like hardware. So, the point here is that you can virtualize your network. Network can be virtualized. So, if you are completely designing software, of course, another thing you have to do 
and part of that is uh, on the shelf, a storage, and uh, some of these private network, which can be told about other companies. Similar to what is done in the virtual machines. So the IT industry uh, has gone to a big innovation about 20 years ago. Uh, because uh, those of us uh, who are the young people have not gone into the core data centers, those core data centers need to be enormous. So because, as you know, that uh, we have an application that will run on a particular OS. The same application for a different OS will run on a different machine. So different hardware uh, computing, computers that we did running a particular OS for that application to run. Then require that lots and lots of machine table data centers. And that problem was solved by virtualizing these servers. So you can have a one server that is running many different virtual machines with many different virtual computers. And you can have many different applications running on different operating systems on the same hardware server. But that has not happened. Uh, but that happened in the IT industry. That's why it's a good job. Companies like Google, Facebook, and uh, all these uh, big new players which are being over the They are only in the industry. That happened about 15 to 20 years ago. The telecom industry was for very, very slow to reaction. It's, it's a very slow industry. So in 2004, the telecom, many of the telecom companies uh, were years in time, but they were doing for them. And that's this, and that part of the behavior. As popularized, as popularized telecommunication network. Next part is NMP, uh, which is uh, the micro function authorization, came into existence, but many different times. Even though a lot of work was performed before that time in the academic circle of the world. But there was no status for the network in any way to popularize the telecom network that we have known for a long time. And that began to happen on the OG or NTP. It is going to become, it is going to be more and more software. 5G and beyond 5G. And so, uh, NLP basically means how do you define the network functions in software? That is, and how do you do that? Do that, do that by using. The new SDM, which is called software design network. This is the control plane. Control plane goes in the uh, general purpose hardware and it will use the interface to change your new parameters. You know, how do you build a from the same computer, storage hardware and all that? How do you build a how do you build a firewall? How do you build a router? You can build different things from the same piece of hardware. That is done by the software. And the messages that are sent to the hardware that is done by the SDN software. It's called software design. And the protocol is called when it is called open network interface. Uh, open network interface. That is on the topic of the conversation here. So these are two best parts of the uh, concept of the idea that we enable. The uh, sizing of the internet as we know today as we know Okay, so this is something I was talking to earlier about what happened in the data center. The previous days you have the hardware and you have the OS and you have an application. And in this kind of older scenarios, all this hardware used to only give you 20 30 percent information, and it was just running. Unnecessarily consuming a lot of power, and you have to pool the uh, data set that was heavily interest. But with the arrival of virtual machines, you can run many different operating systems on the same hardware and run many different applications on the same. That's the whole point. That's what we want to do with them. So, this is again another same thing that uh, until recently we have been using measuring uh, audio session for another. But now we are trying to do everything on the shelf and 
problem which is uh, HG. Uh, so that you can mix them. You can buy one. Uh, you can buy the software from one vendor. You can buy the software from another vendor. So there's a lot of competition in the industry. Let me hold motivation by this cloud of energy. Same thing again here, we are showing the diagram quickly. And here's some hardware resources, computer storage network. And out of it, the virtualization layer that translates that into virtual company, virtual storage, virtual networks. And you can set these things up to give you different kind of functions that you can The routing can be done by managing two tables. A packet comes in from an input port, you put it in some table. And depending upon which port it wants to do, you shut it in and send it uh, that out of it. And you can do all that thing software by the And that is all the guys. We build this hardware thing as a uh, as a virtual infrastructure. And then on this virtual infrastructure, you can have the only network function that you require from the end user. In your back. And that is done by an entity called an entity management and orchestration. So, this is the thing that sets all of these things up. And there are many vendors who are selling uh, these NLP orchestrator we call it, that is, or NLP directors, is sold by companies like IBM, uh, HP, many different companies are selling. So, you can, you can. You can have many different vendors and there are standards, so you can buy many uh, orchestrators from many different vendors and they can And this shows exactly what I was talking about before in this picture that uh, uh, this VNF manager is the one that gets the request from OSS VSX, this engineer, engineer or uh, Geo or Airtel or whatever. Uh, Network provider, they log into this uh, NLP orchestrator, it goes to the NLP manager, it selects a catalog. Catalog basically means this is a catalog of router, firewalls, and so on, the packet is that kind of all the thing. It is a catalog. So you can select a catalog from the catalog, what entities you want to uh, define the software, and then it comes to this internet manager and manager. Virtualize this hardware uh, uh, into the software and will create the virtual So, this is all done by this. So, at a very high level, this is how it is engineered. The network from the hand, in the imposing network, and this is happening more and more as we go through. This is one thing. Yes, yeah. This is showing that you have to do this uh, virtual uh, things and you have to get it again. So, this is basically evaluating what you have here, except that you can do it in software. So, so you get uh, a representation of uh, how much computing is doing and working you have. It is represented in some by how much capacity you have, how much you have used, how much is unused. So it takes care of all of it. It also takes care of to warn you not to go beyond certain percentage you can reach. You don't want to learn how it is. You want to have 70 80 percent. If you give you a better return on your energy. You are in Google because there is the more expensive level of cash flows. You know, like if you are defaulting a client, you know, people are buying things over you know, Amazon or flip card and all the things, there is a lot of traffic at that time. So that's why you don't want to run it at that level. So you can click on the utilization types depending upon what is happening. Same thing happens when you have these uh, exporting units. So historically, 
is when whenever it's a hardware router, how do things here? They easily managed by something called uh, so this is the uh, uh replication of the same thing is how do you manage the individual functions from the user created that that is not always software So it is trying to keep the legacy as much as possible so that uh, you learn from the for, for uh, and it becomes uh, it makes it easier to get the computer rather than
in the uh, in the Nordic region. Okay, so I just wanted to show uh, the latency is going to be one millisecond as opposed to one millisecond. This is the components. Uh, oh, this is a highly irrelevant thing. These are exponential numbers. It's not that you can get it. In India, there are many, many cities, 5G has been going on. But I, I, I bet nobody is getting that performance. You can't even, you're not able to get it at all. So, so this, uh, so, sometimes the operators use this job for. It's a marketing job. So basically, this is this car shows what are the network latency bandwidth requirements for different kind of use cases and to specify why we need 5G, why we need 6G, and so on. So people are now doing this work in TLSP, virtual reality, autonomous driving, of course, probably will take a long time to get it. So the uh, manual requirements both independently uh, and uh, and the delay requirements also become very really risk, especially if you want to do the most certainly this kind of shows about the and that's why you need network size. So uh, so you can have network size size for a part second right. And I will try more 4K video stream or PSC TV charge. This will charge with the operator they charge differently. Then they will charge to uh, electric grid. Yeah. So this is the whole point. So metal sizing, all the markets are there. So the metal sizing is one of the key pillars of 5G and beyond 5G is even though the matter work is to be done. Okay. Okay, so there's a term here, uh, we are developing service based on. So that is, that is I was I was telling you the very first time moving away from uh, intellectual driven architecture with service based on. So this to this part. So what this slide shows is that uh, if you go to 2G, 3G, uh, and in 4G, it is uh, that when you find parties that they are the uh, user equipment, the other radio equipment, the other radio access controller, the uh, alarm package mode. I mean, that architecture that is involved in our generation. So when we go to 5G, there is a desire to unbundle these things. There is no such thing as a radio electric terminal. There is no such thing as four hundred in a set sense of the world because it's all software. And then what basically it shows, and the uh, next uh, slide will make it clearer. If you have a user equipment, there is a radio electric network, there is a user plane function. So if a user equipment and this is the crowd, wherever the uh, desktop is going. So the data flows this way. What we control is this blue part. This is that's why it is this. So there is something called the uh, access and management in mobility. There is session management function. Session management of the uh, data flows. Authentication server either or uh, piece of software that are running, problems. but they are the ones which control all the things that The control plane is all the software, right? So there is an unbundling of the control plane where the brain is and how the data is flowing, as opposed to in the classical internet, which is best effort, which is just techniques of OSPF and the next half of the it goes like that. But with this technique, it is much more systematized. You have better control of all the packets are being used, and then you have better access and management of every function. Yeah, the same. So, yeah, this is a very good thing. What is it? You need to not have a previous generation. 
So, a very good point. There was a lot of debate about uh, uh, people asking why do you need that? Oh, there are all these numbers of what is happening, energy efficiency, data, like that, and so on and so forth. People did ask. The only difference is that actually, you want to solve software things, it is much easier to do. You are unburdened. You can have all these network of functions and they are they can be different values. I can buy from one and still can set up. They will go can do it. I don't care. So I get the pieces who will give me the best deal. Right? But in OG and before, you were stuck with the value. Because you are know, using that was other for their own values. So the proprietary nature of uh, the model has been put up. Unbundling of it. It's like you buy a car. You have got many different bulbs, different parts. If you, if you buy a car from uh, Suzuki, Maruti, and if you have to buy from Maruti, all the energy parts, then it's going to be a plus. Because they can charge whatever they want. But they are 50 different component uh, manufacturers doing the same thing, then there's a competition in your car's parts. It's exactly the same thing. Same picture shown in the uh, to give a little bit of more detail that uh, uh, this is called GNP, which is the next generation, uh, which is also a cloud. So you have a user, IT user function, already had a on the side. So basically, you can see here the patterns are going this that is both the power and they go to this But the control is to this AMR. The control is the same function for the AMR and the system. They are completely powerful. This is power. Going to jail then for the system. A lot of information already available on the internet. And there are in the ages uh, 15, 16, 17. Now, as he's working on release, 17, and the 5G uh, the deployments that we see today, they are all based on this 16 of this country. Same thing is shown here. Uh, okay, so AMF, SMF, all of those things, entities. Can be used in many times. It's not that you need one AMF for slide one, another AMF for slide two, and so the same AMF can be shared among many different sites. So it becomes different kind of software. It's like running many different jobs at this any particular task. And that is shown here. Uh, there are three types of services talking about the number of the See, we are aware about IG, there are three main types of services. One of them called enhanced mobile broadband, where everybody has a lot of bandwidth of their own. It is routine, it is a video, it is a lot of content. Then the ultra reliable low latency communication, those are the type of communications. And then there is a machine types of communication. So for three of them, you can have three different types of but it is not restricted, you can have even more than healthcare size, you can have your own uh, data can have your own size if you want uh, from from the value of everything. So this is basically showing that AMF is being used in AMF is being used by a little size. And this is showing that there are two sizes and uh, and both sides are being divided to different MSMs. The point here is that there are these AMF, SMF, EMF, that all of these things are used to multiple types, same thing, same server, same application, but in many different types. But in many different types. What kind of display shows are not made? As far as I am, this very shows. This is a type of object. 
years. And how does that happen? There is some kind of an orchestration here. So there are some key concepts. About the design, what is the infrastructure owner? Who owns the infrastructure? We have this five G network. The G network is only about is only the digital from from the time the mobile the mobile digital offer and wherever the user question network, everything is the landline, terrestrial fiber. But after that, that time you will have a video. But from the end of that time, you will have a video. It is what we have today. And it is much more easy to software down and it is much more easy to create a site of it because things are not moving. So, if there is infrastructure on a who owns the infrastructure. Second one is who provides the space. So, the user, whoever owns the network can create a slice for the client. Okay. So, a big client can be modeled to the data or a new star neighbor. So, they, they get a slice and that slice is qualified for the network. And only they can use it. So, there is a privacy and security and verification from this kind of Infrastructure tenants, basically, is who are using what the tenants? That is the users. This is like the same infrastructure, they are called the tenants. And how can, how can you partition the size? You can partition the, the network, physical, which is the world we are doing, resource only, the bandwidth, the storage, the family, the resources. Or you do overlay other things. And this is an important uh, feature to remember that uh, you typically have a core network, in a 4G and 5G, you have a passport network, you have a radio access network, and passport network is made up of three entities called access layer, education layer, and Okay, I think the next feature will be about it. So if you look at this thing, uh, the top diagram, the bottom shows the network is architecture in four cities. So you typically have four radio heads in the radio head in the center of the town. Uh, this is the engine of your radio your radio signal of this. And from there is the which is in the there is going to be the bottom of the tower, you will do it. But from there, from that uh, antenna to that base uh, in the bottom, which is called the basement unit, and then from there to the act on to uh, some other location called the actual visual 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 system. This is called the OG Award Packet Control. That is where you have authentication server, you have utility packet. That is where the channels are given to the, to the user uh, at a particular point in time. So, you saw one tower to the other point, two activity, and the channels are assigned. All of that is unique in that 2G award product and browser unit. It basically is doing all the same things. Go from iPad to go back, it's going to unlock the digital event. And we send it back in and practice the games over the panel. So, how did this hold you? And this is the difference that we have in 5G. So, in 5G, you have same thing, you have some kind of an active antenna unit. So, basement unit needs to be in 4G, it's still in one homogeneous unit, and which is now which has been broken up into distributed unit and that is the difference. And so the, book, so the interesting thing is that there is a distributed unit assigned to each town. Right? But this central unit can be shared by many different towns. 
So distributed unit connects all that information from front all different domain, and then they all aggregate to central unit. That is where all these things are possible. And then they go to five G port. And the good thing is that this is not possible. So you can you are doing centralizing the processing of everything. So uh, so you are running this type of unit and you can have the information. And your investment requires is yes. So you don't have to have this thing built into this thing and into D sitting at each time. So you get this cost reduction. Okay, the other thing is that uh, as a front of it, the tower, the tower and then where it connects to the fiber, that is called the front of it. And then there is a middle hall. Middle hall from distributed unit to the central unit, that is called middle hall, and back hall is called where it is going to be. And what uh, one could be using this is the very fiber, the tower is set. But or it could be microwave or it could be the fiber. And this again could be microwave or fiber. It could be a range technology or computer fiber range. Typically, it is mostly fiber is being used on because of the uh, the need to have a lot of Okay, little bit about the uh, so uh no this time. So, if you look at 2G, 3G, 5G, they, they are running at low rate of the So, lower, if the lower is the spectrum, the signal can go up. So, you don't have to, you don't have to get it in the network. It's cheaper. For the network, you can get it in the network. But then, it goes further. They go to 10 kilometers. That means there are more and more users. So there is a problem with this. So you get a new amount of capacity because you have to pay this. But users are too many, so everybody has to pay. Right? So you want to have these towers close to you. So it's basically showing that 2G, 3G, 4G, it is giving low band up to about 1 gigahertz, all of these standards. Same thing in a big band is classified between 1 gigahertz and 2.6 gigahertz. Again, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, and 2.5G has this custom architecture that we need the big band also. And big band above 3.5 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz that has been allocated on the top of 2G and 5G. And as you go to high bands like Dream Survey, from 24 gigahertz to 40 gigahertz, the channels can be very really If the channels can be drawn, then we can carry more data. Traffic, touching the data is this. But the problem is the signal can go very far. So only 5G is going to be 24 gigahertz to 40 gigahertz, but these antennas will be everywhere. They will be on the light pole. On the tree top, buildings of the uh, outside wall, the, uh, the big buildings. Uh, so, idea is a like to give you that kind of capacity that we are talking about. And you get 100 megabit per second, you know, between that, and 1 gigabit per second, and you are clear. So, the specification of IG is that if you are doing a real any kind of power, as in the cloud, then you should be able to get more data. But if you are isolating other things in the cloud, then you should be able to get more data. But we are able to get more data. Those are the numbers. Yeah, so the side is here, you can do something. The side is that we can channel the capacity. And the good thing about it is that because you see your 5G, all of these bands, that means 5G is about a network of bands. So if you have access points or powers that will use low band, 
Did you also have big bang? Did you have the uh, things that come to the end? But they are all controlled, same control values. Control because control can be complicated. So when I when I'm connected, suppose I'm in a region where big bang is not away. I might, uh, I don't know only that I'm using the low band. It will switch my uh, phone to working on the low band. But I got secured for two years. Remember, now he, so, so one of the things I want to stress that 4G, 5G, and beyond 5G is not about the communication. It's not about the it's about the advice. There's a new goal. But how can you have an antenna by the run? Can you think of having tens of antennas in one smartphone and for GPS, one for two, and one for energy and up there, and you see up there inside the UT application, another one for low band and you can have so many antennas. So in the next there is a big goal, and you have a clear and a handle on. You can tune it to right up to the movie, depending upon what kind of uh, uh, where, where, where you are. So you don't have to have many. So this is a great challenge for the bureaucracy. And now there's a lot of opportunity for. People who are working in uh, energies, machine learning, we call it language and the science. And then you, when you move from a tower that is calculated in the low band, so if you move to the big band, to that tower, it should be super speaker, right? And you start getting better. The capacity and this form and work and the decision is being made. What happens then? And the way it is done is directly with the location and not the earth moving. The network operator and roads, which is new after two seconds of the years, and it starts preparing itself for handover, and it starts preparing a new name set of channels. Because not new channels, right? You get channels in Hongkong, or you get a channel. So, when you reach for the signing, which I was going to work, and your point is talking to the manager of the building, it is going to go on there, but at the base bank, when you go to the start of it, it will be cheap. So, this is a very, very complicated thing, but I think it is, it has worked all the way to the ocean. It's pretty good. But when you think about that, it is even a much harder problem because you want to maintain the slice. Slice is right, you need to uh, provide a quality of subject that the channel handle. When you go from one tower to another, you cannot say that we are not getting on the uh, uh, 5 megabit and we are not getting 20 megabit. But to maintain the quality of service. So that's when sizing becomes the time. So there are techniques like channel aggregation. And uh, so I am here to talk about this aggregation of channels. If you have many different channels, you put them together to give you more. Is that me? Yeah. Let me move. So there are different kinds of sizes now. There are kind of network slicing and your management responsibility. Okay, who, who can manage how much of the slice? That's what they do. If you're an external client, if I'm a client, I uh, want to have a slice. If I can manage the, all the layers of the site, services, infrastructure, everything, the external tenant manages. And this is called external provider management system. Provider will, who's going to give you the size, 
Okay, interesting thing. There are many 
ये रिसर्च पार्टी बहुत हुआ I can 
that uh, corresponding and I can connect to multiple of them. So people can do this is working for us. So there is static resource allocation for each size in S and I know the Okay, so how do you create a large number of sites? Uh, the four main actions. First of all, you configure a new type of size in checks. When you create a size, which is called a of size instead, because it is there for a certain period of time, which you can uh, shut down or you can create a manage your or what that you can do. Okay, so the, this part is big. I think that's the right part. There are many different sizes running on the same hardware and computer. How do you make sure that one size is available? There's no interference. Nobody is stealing the data from one size to other size. There is a huge security and privacy. The lack of the researchers of the computer. So, the another point is that if you are operating in the building to transmission, where the uh, the distance to which your CI can go, it automatically takes a number to city because you are very really close to the and others are not connected. But if you many people are connected on the same access point, the likelihood is maybe that somebody may include in two quarters of the So, to keep on your isolation security as a number one. Concern when it comes to the next one. The next one is readjusted the size. So, maybe one size is more important and the other size is under interference. How can you dynamically take the size that is very So, that is also possible, at least, at least in theory, that will be a research problem. I'm not saying that it's happy. People are struggling, happy to do this. That is very good. But at some point of time, you know, the researchers, if you come to the market ahead, after what is happening in the new commercial. And how do you maintain an audit log? You know, it's key what happened at all. So if some intruder came in, you should have an audit log. What went wrong? That's what legal reasons are done. Now we talk about life cycle. You get a uh, size instead that in the life cycle or a ministry of the Okay. So now uh, being in uh, academia, the question is what is there for academic school? There's a lot of community. The data structure and the standard body data. So the template is popular and all these things. And if you do the stress conditions, just to do a way of OPR and direction and the OPR. But uh, there are many, many research types. Seven main areas of research that uh, need to be found. Number one is directly radio research allocation for science. When you are moving move from one access point operating in a certain uh, band to another access point, how do you do the uh, handover and how do you make sure that uh, you get the same quality of service or you get the same, you, you are able to uh, meet the same kind of requirements in your study? Science should move to you, right? <laughs> when you move from one access to another, you have a problem. If you haven't found a solution to that problem, network slicing and open RAN across the world, the video is the quality of science. When we talk about open RAN, basically, there are many, many vendors out there, any type of application people are running. 
So how do you provide that processing? They have many types. There is one. Now, mobility is affected by delivering the rest of the That is very, very important. How do you provide the rest of the Slice isolation, I will be talking about. You can do that at the infrastructure level. And then you get this active part. This is how you You can do the separation at the multiple level. Value slice assembly. Quantification of how the slice is functioning in real time. How can I build the slice? How does the mobile operator, how does the operator and the and the user knows and it knows how well the slice is working? So you need the other to be set. And then finally, uh, AI analytics in when we talk about stress. Because one of the days in the telecom and the board was to provide that. Then, as long as you provide good enough reliability and availability, most of the time, then you have to do then I also talk about the term, how do career education? How do we do this? Now I was uh, I was telling you that in the future about the spending of the channels. Think of that, think of that, so forth. So How do we do the education? We need to So, identification of various combination of company carriers, implement carrier education in small sense. How do we do that? It is a very active research. People who are deep into the video and framing and all those things, they do not know about it. And I, I. <clears throat> so, questions to answer are what are the allocated needs? What are the advantages of network slicing and career education? How bad resources are allocated to network slice? How wide are the share? How can we deal with network slicing and career education? But carrier aviation is being used in OT, but carrier aviation is the one that we do more than us. That's why it's a very important part. If you use your using, and when you take that exercising, then you should be able to do it. I just, uh, I won't show you these slides here, but the network slicing plays a, has a, can be a big driver. It can play a big work for the company. Because then what happens now is that somebody looks at infrastructure in a village and only one operator comes and does it. The machine has to affect an operator who will who will become the legend for the current time. But if you can use better slicing, then the person will really get out of the infrastructure and create different sizes. So here she can create a number size for uh, for retail budget. You know, of course, in the little world area, we want to buy so So there is a can be size features. So industry can play a big role, uh, can become the subscriber of that for size. Uh, from the network infrastructure provider, who can make more money? I know operators who live in the infrastructure in your area, they can Another slice can be uh, can be made for just for communication for video conferencing, as streams. To which the mobile operator can be probably more interesting. So that's the second. There are a lot of uh, uh, Remote learning 
institutional services now. The government is very much interested in quite good execution in good education. Teachers don't want to go to the uh, they want to do in the cities. So there will be a site as for education. If the best teacher from anywhere in India, uh, in business, chemistry, or mass, or whatever, can give good lectures. Not somebody who, uh, who doesn't know what they are teaching or they are doing. So there could be an education. So these are opportunities for the world area because nobody wants to build in they do a sheet and everything to recoup the money from the investment. But with the network sizing and possibly using these uh, ground panchayat offices, but a lot of ground panchayats, but nobody is using it. So ground panchayat, the fiber is going to ground panchayat. If you can make that fiber available, and from that one, you are somebody can do the question. Village by using virus and the family and feeling there are many ways to have it over summer in the time where content rather than healthcare and more healthcare science. So those are all kinds of opportunities that open up even for the people. Where the corporate businesses will come because how they see the potential to get wealth from the villages by selling their things. And the person who is really not a person who is really a person can also see the opportunity. Uh, uh, big companies are not interested because they have enough, they have enough subscribers. And, uh, and they find building uh, infrastructure in 70,000 villages or India, or so, big number, uh, can take years to. So there is a tremendous amount of opportunities for for rural operators, uh, and the government is very much interested. In but of course, uh, government is not the best situation to get into very specific. Unfortunately, at least they can provide subsidies. We can just do a bit more. So I think I'll just stop. So basically, this is showing there are many different sizes, there are many different times you are utilizing the size. There's some very nice papers made by some people. So, record sizing is not only for people, I think users, but also for people. So, this is the first slide. So, is there any difference on the network size? So, the data service was uh, is an older concept. Yeah, do you give why to the service and do you have any? So, the end user, or the over the top user, they, they have the capacity. But now, in the old model, it's a standard that will generate a bigger solution. It's the, the old the model is the answer. You get what you want to do, then you get the resource. When you get the resource, you can't do what you want to do. You can also make they complain that we spend so much money to build an infrastructure. Somebody has an Indian money and they actually will export them. They are planning to do that. They are using the infrastructure as a company. Then there will be there will be a transition instead of a tax price. Suppose that I am a provider and I have a product to this from from the Netflix or something that I can. Then I can make it to the because then I I I get. 
So, but that is very, very interesting. So, we used to rent these VHS tapes, then go and do the shop, edit it, DVD, watch it on the scale there, and then it also. So, so you get it for one year to get. So when the telephone search private day or they want to deliver the video online, uh, they will use to select the bandwidth. How much bandwidth they are using for you? So if you're watching a movie of two hours and a three megabit per second, you just multiply how many how you consume. Uh, it will be very excess. So this was when we, when people were getting internet access. So you get a broadband access, you are paying certain that was good. Then they wanted to go into the video business, video delivery business. So they say, I will charge you for delivering video because on the internet I am giving you so much bandwidth 